Hi, I'm Lee Teschler with EE World and Design World. I'm here with Jim Witham from GAN Systems. And Jim is going to talk to us a little bit about power module technology. Now, Jim, I think most engineers know that if you can't get enough power out of a gallium nitride transistor, you put it in a power module. But there's some interesting developments in that score. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what's going on? You know, first of all, people at APEC always want more power. The first step that the power module guys have done is they've taken traditional power modules that used to hold silicon devices, IGBTs, and taken the IGBTs out and put in GAN transistors. And you get a step up in performance. Customers really like that. But the change that we're seeing is now that you've got better, faster transistor, the module guys are saying, hmm, maybe I need to have a better, faster module. And so we're starting to see those come out. And there's a couple examples um, right here. Uh, this one's by a Korean company, SemiPowerX. This is by a Japanese company, Sharp. And what they've done here, Lee, is they've paid attention to inductance and they've paid attention to heat transfer. So they've made modules that have much lower inductance. It keeps voltage overshoots down so you can get more current through the devices. Um, they've also paid attention to heat transfer by using really good substrates to suck the heat out of the devices and keep the temperatures low. And by doing that, they can get the maximum performance out of the GAN transistors. Can you kind of quantify for us, what's the difference in the, the performance of a power module where it's just a one-to-one -one substitution for, with a GAN transistor versus one that's been optimized for GAN technology? You know, that's a tough question because every application is a little bit different. But to generalize, you can get about twice as much current or twice as much power if you take discrete devices and put them into a power module. And then if you put them into a next generation power module, you can get another factor of two. So you're kind of doubling the amount of power that you can get out of a given transistor by doing proper module design. So Lee, this is kind of an interesting board here that bridges the gap between just using discretes on a printed circuit board versus using a full-blown module. So you can get a lot more power here out of the discrete devices. What this is, is a two-layer board, metal core printed circuit board. So um, it's uh, metal on the back. You can put that right up to your heat sink and suck um, the heat out of the devices. You can parallel up um, the GAN transistors and get a lot of current in a very small space. So it allows you to go to higher power levels, do it very cost effectively, and if you're in the, kind of that, that middle power range, it can be a really cost effective solution for you. That's interesting technology, Jim. Thank you. You're welcome.